Today's Toy Spot, we are having a look at the Batman animated series Batmobile from the folks over at DC Collectibles. Spot would like to apologize, he's a little late on getting this review up. Truth be told, I actually had the Batmobile sitting on my shelf for the longest time and still in box. And the only reason why I waited as long as I did to get the review of this one done was because I was waiting for Batman to show up in stores. I just wanted to make sure I had the proper classic costume Batman so I could fully do a, a fair good assessment of the, the Batmobile with, the, I think, the true characters. Now, this is the first release. This is the first edition Batmobile. Uh, DC Collectibles is going to be releasing a secondary Batmobile that I think is going to have some more like metal components or more shinier components to it. Eh. But it's also going to be coming with a Robin as well as a Batman that has cloth cape. So if you don't have already the existing figures or you want just a little more of a schnazzier Batmobile, you can get that. I'm Truthfully, I'm happy really with getting this one because as much as we've been getting the, you know, like the DC Collectibles Batman figures, I think all of us have been hoping to get vehicles as well. And uh, I gotta say, like, this looks super cool. It has working lights, uh, which all of which I'll show you from the front and when we get this out of packaging. Uh, let's have a look at the back of the packaging. The back of the packaging, and Spot would like to apologize again because the size of the box is just so big, I can't fit all of this on frame. Uh, it does have kind of a little side profile of what the Batmobile looks like. It has a choking hazard down below. Small parts, not for children under three years of age. And then finally, probably the easier thing I can get to, if you flip up the top of the box, you've got Batman, the animated series on the top. That being said, Spot is waited long enough to get this Batmobile reviewed, so I'm going to take the much-needed break, get the Batmobile out of the box, and when we come back, we're going to get a better look at the DC Collectibles Batman, the animated series Batmobile. There's more definitely heading your way, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Okay, so now that we got it out of the packaging, let's get a better look at the Batmobile. Got to admit, I'm actually surprised that I was able to get all of it on frame within the confines of this reviewing space. But the Batmobile is completely out of packaging, and it's, it's large. It's pretty much the exact same length as the box, give or take a few of the little clam uh, plastic sandwich sections that they put on either end of the Batmobile and then on the tops and the bottoms. Just to give you guys a scale comparison of exactly how big are we talking when it comes to this Batmobile, there it is next to Robin. That is the the equivalent of the six inch version of Robin from the Batman animated series line and probably more importantly a comparison that we would want to make there is next to Batman. So you can kind of see there's the figure if I really like even take Batman here and I lay him down it's it's like four Batmans long that's probably the worst by far the worst comparison or worst uh, sizing I probably could have done but it's about four Batmans in length so you know about six inch Batman yeah, give or take that's about four four times as long coloring wise and just basically the overall look of the Batmobile. It looks like it, it was taken right out of the cartoon itself. As I said, it's very, very large. Uh, there's the top of the Batmobile right there. It's mostly just a black color with uh, some very few accents of uh, gray making up the body. Uh, you can see at the top of the engine here, we've got little, uh, not exhaust pipes, but like the piping that would have worked from the engine out to the sides of the, the Batmobile. Of course, the classic grill on the front of the Batmobile, the, the headlights, I'll show you that in a second. The wheels with the gray inside there as well. Now in the original Kenner toy, you, if anyone was lucky enough to own the original Kenner toy, and I wish I had actually got that when I had the chance because th that's so expensive now. But like these little hubcap uh, blades would have come out. You would have actually been able to pull out, uh, pull these out. Unfortunately on the animated series line from DC Collectibles, it's just sculpted in. Not that these would need to come out, but these are just strictly sculpted in. The coloring comes comes across almost more like a dark gray, but uh, I think it's just because the lighting is reflecting so much off of this as, as it is, and because it's so much closer to the camera that because of the size of the Batmobile, that's what it looks like on the back with the singular exhaust, some tail lights, and some lights on the top there as well. Uh, if we flip it upside down, there's the underside of the Batmobile, your battery compartment, which I might add only takes three AA batteries. 
That's not that bad. I, I for some reason thought it was going to take four AA batteries or maybe four AAA batteries, but it only took three, so that's that's not bad. An on off switch. And then on the front here, I might actually have to do this from the top. Or actually, you know what I'll do? I'll tip it to the top there, and then you guys can get a better view. Uh, the cockpit canopy, cleverly enough, actually slides forward uh, versus having it just simply flip open. And then on the inside, this is probably going to be the harder aspect to film. On the inside of the Batmobile, there is uh, a little console there, a little control console. There's the steering wheel, two seats unlike the one singular seat. Uh, it does have uh, some seat belts. Now this section will, I think, light up as well as with the rest of the Batmobile. To give you a better feel for it, what we'll, we will do is tip it upside down here, flip it up, and yeah, it does, it does actually light up on the inside there. We turn on the switch, and it projects a very bright blue on the inside there. One right above the steering wheel where Batman is going to be piloting the other side, Robin or any of the other uh, characters you'd like to put in there. The back will light up a bright yellow, red on the taillights, red on the bottom taillights there. And as well, the front headlights will also light up. And I'm going to flip it around there. There we go. The front headlights will also light up. The other thing that's neat about the Batmobile too is that the front wheels, uh, we'll have to hold the Batmobile for this, the front wheels actually do rotate forward and back. The back wheels on the other hand are just, just they just rotate, they don't turn or anything like that. I love though, especially closing up Batmobile, it's still, you can still see there's a blue light on the inside. The window is tinted, true, but you can still see that there's a blue light from inside cockpit uh, projecting the light out. Subtle, but I do appreciate that. Before we actually put any one of the figures inside the bat Batmobile, I just want to show you also some other features inside the cockpit. Um, there is a couple of seat belts, as mentioned. It is a, they are rubbery kind of elastics. And to get them out, you're not actually sliding the, the character underneath the seat belt. What you're actually doing instead is you're detaching the Batmobile seat belts from the, the little side areas of the uh, the chairs there. They just detach. They're just uh, they're like little clips, and they easily just pull right out. And then you can put your character in, and then just put the seat belt back in. One other thing too that I didn't realize uh, until I started playing with it further is that the seat the the uh, steering wheel also rotates as well. It it comes completely out and it also rotates left and right. Of course, when you put it in Batman, you'll want to make sure that the, the steering wheel is pushed all the way back in. And let's see if we can get some figures going inside the Batmobile. We'll go ahead and take Batman first, and we'll fit him inside the Batmobile. Let's tip up the Batmobile so you can get a better look for it. The only thing that I was a little apprehensive about was bending the legs on Batman. I was worried that the joint wasn't because it hit, it hit a lot of resistance. I won't lie to you. It hit a lot of resistance bending the legs as far up as I had to here. Uh, when you get, if you do get the second release Batmobile, the second release Batmobile will come with Batman with a cloth. I think it's going to be a cloth cape. So it might make things a little easier getting him in there. You just move the legs in. And a lot of this is going to rely on you doing a little bit of pushing, a little of adjusting. Getting the cape, of course, out of the way because it's going to be a little bit more, uh, a little more plasticky, as opposed to the fabric. But you can get Batman in there. Just in case you were wondering, you can get him actually in there. And then the canopy top closes shut. And there's enough clearance. Well, I've got the lights still on in there, so you can see Batman, Batman from the outside window. What you can also do is the same thing. I'm going to slide this forward. And now let's try to get Robin in there as well. And I've got Robin actually just with his grapple gun right now, but we'll bend his legs. Unfortunately, his legs have gotten really loose, which is such a shame. Take his legs. I'm using uh, using Tim, not Tim Drake, but uh, Dick Grayson Robin. 
makes obviously more sense if I'm going to have classic Batman, I'm going to get classic Robin in there as well. Robin fits a lot easier because he is smaller. And again, you just want to make sure you get his hair past that point. He sits in just fine. You can get the seat belts then over top of the figures, but they do a pretty good enough job as they are to sit inside the, uh, the cockpit there and then close up the door. And there they are, ready to fight crime. The Batmobile is a crowning jewel to the Batman animated series line that DC Collectibles have been releasing the last little while. They are releasing also the Batplane, which will be coming out very soon as well. And they are releasing a, uh, a second released, second edition version of the Batmobile, which from what I've read, is gonna have a slight bit of difference, I think more metallic coloring. Um, I think this looks a little bit more like the original and more the reason why I would stick with using this one rather than the re-release. The re-release also is going to be coming with a Batman and Robin, uh, so they're going to be in there. And I think it also comes with a Bat, uh, Bat Signal as well. If that doesn't really bother you all that much, the Bat Signal and the fact that Batman and Robin are going to have cloth capes, I still kind of would go with this Batmobile here. The only downside to it is as cool as it is, it takes up a lot of space. Uh, because you, you're having a figure that's already by itself a six inch figure, it's already bigger than a regular Kenner release of the same line way back in the day. Back in the day, the Batmobile would have only been about that size. Of course, it has to accommodate a much bigger scale to fit the six inch figures. But if you can fit, if you can fit this on a shelf or fit this on a display somewhere, the Batmobile is awesome. It's just a matter of taking up, well, it is gonna be taking up a little bit more space on a shelf. But if you can if you can accommodate the space, I definitely would say get it though. It's, it's just really super cool. I regret though, looking at this, it's a reminder, a very harsh reminder that Spot never picked up the Kenner original animated series Batmobile. But in the meantime, I'm gonna thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy having the classic Batman uh, Batmobile just for my six my six inch uh, DC collectibles line of figures. Today's uh, today's toy spot we were having a look at a very large Batmobile. Look at the size of it. Uh, certainly stay tuned guys. Spot's gonna have more toy spots heading your way. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.